Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It is episode 31, and we're continuing our playthrough of Chrono Trigger. We fought our way through Ozzy, Flea, and Slash, and we're now getting ready to go take care of Magnus himself. Um, just a fair warning, if you're watching live on the live stream, um... I'm going to cut the live stream a little short. I'm feeling a little under the weather. And so hopefully, our, the plan is the that I'm going to record what we'll publish on Friday and Saturday now. And I'm hoping that by Saturday, I'm feeling better enough to record the rest of what would publish throughout the week. So if you're watching this later on YouTube, um, you, you'll get the one you're watching now. You should get tomorrow's and hopefully you'll get the rest on the normal schedule if not it's because I, I wasn't feeling that much better and i apologize for that hopefully next week we'll be back on the normal schedule okay so with all that said and done let's go to the big boss fight uh, you may also notice the window designs just a little bit different. Why do I feel like I, uh... Oh, doggone it. That's not what I wanted. Bam. Done. Okay. Oh, that's nice to get Frog the extra level then. Um, that... I just wasn't expecting to head down is all. I'm also a little worried that, uh... Oh. There we go. Da Zumo Something. Cast open the gates that lie betwixt heaven and earth. In exchange for the life of this world. Wait, um, some of us might object. There we go, good. Okay, I was hoping I'd be able to get the video working this time. Uh, I'm gonna have to figure out how to get rid of some of the trim up near the top there. But we'll get there. We got video this time. This is one of the things I've been very happy with the uh, remake on adding these fun little videos here. So hopefully Saturday I'll be able to get that last little edge of uh, the window out of the way. Uh oh. Golem and Magnus face off again. Dun dun. <laughs> All right. In this case, is pretty much how we saw it, but with less bad, <laughs> with worse graphics. Because I forgot that I turned on the fancy graphics or the updated sprites. Magus. Ah, that frog of so many days ago. How have you fared since last we met? Well enough. I owe you my gratitude. This form has been a blessing in disguise. Without it, there are things I'd never have obtained. Ah, the Mazamun. Then you've come for me. Let us hope no others interfere this time. Come on. Let's get to the throwdown. <laughs> Again, the bitter black winds begin to howl. Very well. Remember that line. Come, if it is death you seek. Now, this is going to be an interesting battle because he's going to do... Lots of that kind of stuff. Uh, 
let's go ahead and get you to do... Oh, I didn't see the battle message. Reserves all but lightning. Okay. Yeah, every time you attack him, he changes what he is vulnerable to and what he can dish back out. He's always vulnerable to physical attacks, and that's kind of why I have the party set up I do. All but fire. Uh, well then. That's not really going to help. <laughs> oh, that's right. We got all those ruby vests. Please, use fire more often. All right. Since none of us have fire right now, we'll do a physical attack. Bam! All but light. Ooh. I've been paying close attention to health. That's going to come back to bite me. All right, so I'll have you do lightning too, and you do heal, and you do heal beam, and that should get everybody back up to back up to snuff if they survive long enough. <laughs> All but water. Okay, I'll live through it. Okay. A oh, frog should be able to do his heal. And Robo do his heal. And that puts everybody pretty close up. So he's open to everything but water. We'll do that for the moment. And let's go ahead and hit everybody with uh, another heal beam anyway, because Frog and Robo are kind of low. I didn't see what he was vulnerable to. That's what I get for not paying attention. You know, it always works. Frenzy. Well, not as low as I'd like. I need to get Frog to do some more... Um, okay, now we're back to water. I need to get Frog to do some regular attacks. Because the uh, Mazamun will reduce his defense. Let's get another heal beam in here. Especially since Frog's looking a little low. Magic defense reduced. Is he still only open to water? We'll find out. Bam! Nice. Okay. Um, okay, that usually means that he's feeling a little less than well. So let's do a regular attack to lower his defense. And... Let's do that. Um, oh, okay, good. That means that he's vulnerable to... Oh, no. Um, that a heal beam. Let's do... A regular attack to lower his defense. And let's throw another frenzy at him. There we go. That's hitting a little bit better. Let's frenzy again. Let's attack, although I should have done that in the other order. I think I just might... <laughs> I might have overdone the heal a little bit, but, uh... Okay. Here we are. Uh... Dark magic... All right, so let's do this. Let's do a regular attack. And then let's go for this. Oh, I was expecting that to do more. Attack. Frenzy. Let's hit him with a robo-tackle. 
See if we can knock him out that way. Oh, oh, oh I should have done a heal beam. Alright, let's start with the heal beam. Then we'll do a regular attack, and then we'll do another frenzy. Alright, that helps. <laughs> okay. Ooh, we got him! Nice. Chrono's level increased. Robo's level increased. Your skill with the Mazamoon is that great already? Large-scale energy reaction detected. Could it be Lavos? No, he must not awakened from his slumber yet. Awaken? I do not understand. According to the records, Lavos was created here at this precise moment. You fools! I but summoned him. He has dwelt within the earth for eons, absorbing the land's energy and growing ever stronger. It appears my data was incorrect. Thank you. What is this energy in the air? I am detecting the emergence of a gate of theoretically improbable proportions. You, if you had not interfered, an enormous gravity sink is forming. Oh. Uh-oh. Um, hmm. We appear to be circling the gate. Chrono. Chrono. Chrono, are you still sleeping? Honey, you'll be late for work. Dear me, I'd forgotten how beautiful Linny's bell sounds. Chrono, we can't keep asking my father for help. You need to hold down a job. Chrono. Chrono, 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 Chrono. Chrono awake? Madam Ayla. Which would mean we are currently... Ayla wants to see Chrono. Go Mystic Mountain. You there, fall down hurt. Ayla carry back hut. Magus. Big frog present for Ayla eat? Uh, no. Perish the thought. But what of the pale-faced man in the cape? Was he not with us? No, only find you. Cape one more tasty? Really? So he has fled. The records were incorrect, but if Magus did not create Lavos, then in what era did it originate? Lavos? You no worry now. You rest. Hurt bad. Let me... I would like to recover some hit points and magic points while we're... Yeah. Here, right? Chrono okay now? Ayla busy. Try find Luruba village. Find village. Fight reptites together. Big fight. Last fight. Beat all reptites or reptites beat us. Kino. What wrong? Chrono rest. You be quiet. <laughs> Northwood fire. Burn. Big burn. Okay, good. Hit points and magic points are restored. Let's head out here and let us go ahead and save. And we're going to go back to saving over the first... The first one. Or I prefer to do that. Alright, Northwoods. Northwoods. That's the happy hunting grounds that we will be to later. That's the dactyl nest. You know, I don't know that we actually went into the north woods last time, and we probably should have. A little late now. We are at the Laruba ruins. 
Reptites take Kino. Reptites kill all. Try to stop Reptites. What do you know? Reptites follow Ayla. Ayla, bad luck. Reptites come burn village. Wait a second, follow Ayla? People will fight. Reptites kill all. That's right, these are the pacifists. You fight, so Reptite's mad. Uh, now you're saying it's our fault? Ayla, this is your fault. Look at village. Reptites follow you. Now village ruined. Ayla, sorry. <laughs> Reptite strong. Live long before us, so we hide. But Ayla say fight together. Ayla still say fight now? Ayla alive, Ayla fight. Win, live, lose, die. That rule. No can change rule. Old man breathe, but dead inside. Ayla strong, so make big talk. We not strong. Strong, fight. Get more strong. We're looking for some dactyl. Right. I'm getting tired of trying to do the caveman speech while narrating. So basically, Elder's going to try <laughs> a little perturbed that we're trying to get to the Tyranno lair where the Reptite Castle was. No, we want to live, so go. We'll be okay. Give Dactyl. Elder tell Keeper, so go Dactyl Nest. Be careful. Big help. Sweet. You take care. Oh, I can't leave out the back door. Make an Irish exit. All right. Uh, now I really technically I should be going up towards the uh, dactyl nest to uh, to to catch up with Ayla and make all that stuff happen, but. The whole reason why I was trying to cap and why I got a little worried about the leveling is I wanted to get Speakio at this form for the special gifts that you get and so I could showcase all the different forms on on video. So, uh, alright, he needs 4,000 XP. We should be able to make it without leveling up, but just the same. No, oh, never mind. Fine. We'll do this the hard way. We'll nuke everybody with some lightning. That should do everybody in. Oh, I didn't want to go on auto. Fine. Still seems kind of wrong that you're punching a koala in the face. Yeah, because we're going to come back and we're going to grind some levels at some point in the relatively near future. Just uh, not right now. Because we're about 18 minutes in. I want to go ahead and do the fight with Specchio and then call this episode. And then uh, try to get one more of some miscellany. And that'll work out pretty good. So that way Saturday we'll start at the Dactyl Nest and go from there. First things first, we're going to come here. We're going to get the little Orby thing that heals all the hit points and magic points. We're going to go ahead and save, even though we haven't done that much extra. But save, save again, save one more time. I'm going to switch out the party, though. Um... Level wise, everybody's okay. But we've used these three for the previous battles. Let's go ahead and do that again. Yeah. So at level 29, this is the last level that you'll see this form. And then when you level up again, he does a different one and gives different prizes. So let's try to beat him up real quick. Cook it. That's it. Yeah, keep doing the... Uh... Oh, no, no, no. 
no, switch to the fire. Go back to the fire. Oops, I should have done a heal. Doggone it. Well, that should nuke him for quite a bit. That's it. Uh, fight somebody else. Alright, combo. Let's do the R whirl. And fire two. I don't think that's going to do as much healing as I wanted. Maybe I should have stuck with uh, Robo and Frog for the extra heals. So I think we're going to hit up another R whirl as soon as I get a chance. Just so long as. Yeah, there we go. Hit Chrono. Alright, combo R whirl again. I really should, uh. Actually, I should probably be using all of Lucas Protects to bump up everybody's defenses. Well, I don't know. If I can hit him with another triple, that might, uh. That's gonna take out Chrono, isn't it? Shoot. Um, I could burn some items to make that happen, but uh, I don't. I don't think I will. I'm gonna try to do this without burning items. Just because if you lose, you lose. You go back and you try it again. Sweet. Oh me, oh my. That was embarrassing. Oh, guess you uh ain't so bad after all. Here, this is for you. And we get Spikio's Choice Set. A magic capsule and five mid-ethers. What can I say? I'm the master of war. And there we go. That's that fight. Maybe having more than one heal would be nice. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. So, let's save the game. All right, and this is where I'm going to go and say thank you for joining along so far. If you're watching live on Twitch or Mixer, hang tight. I've got one more episode tonight because I'm feeling a little under the weather, and I'm going to try to at least get uh, Friday and Saturday's episodes ready to go. And if you want to watch live, I do this Thursdays at 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern. There's a link in the description below. And if you haven't already, follow on Twitch or Mixer to get notified when I go live. And definitely, definitely subscribe to the YouTube channel. It helps the channel out and you get notified of new episodes and other content. And if you have any quips, queries, quotes, quandaries, complaints, or other whatnot, feel free to put them in the comments below. And so, live folks, give me a minute to prep the next episode, and YouTube folks, I'll see you tomorrow.